Happy Halloween, everybody. Have a great time. Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the White House transformed into an enchanted forest for Halloween. The president traveled to Newark to discuss criminal justice reform, and he spoke at the Tribal Nations Conference in Washington, D.C. Meanwhile, the First Lady traveled abroad to Qatar to support girls' education. That's October 30th to November 5th for Top Prize. Top Prize! <laughs> Top Prize! <laughs> On the eve of All Hallows' Eve, staff was busy transforming the White House grounds for 4,000 visitors, including local school children and military families who would come the next day. On Halloween, the enchanted forest came to life. The President and First Lady welcomed trick-or-treaters to the South Lawn. It's the Pope! In the Pope Mobile! How are you, Pope? <laughs> you were just here! On Monday morning, the President signed the Bipartisan Budget Act into law in the Oval Office. At 12.13, the President was wheels up and headed to Newark, New Jersey. There, he met with local leaders at Integrity House in Newark, a nonprofit that recognizes the importance of prisoner reentry and tackles all aspects of reintegration, including transitional housing, job training, substance abuse treatment, and recovery. Then the president spoke at Rutgers University about the need for comprehensive criminal justice reform and announced new actions to reintegrate formerly incarcerated individuals back into their communities. There are people who have gone through tough times. They've made mistakes, but with a little bit of help, they can get on the right path. And that's what we have to invest in. On Tuesday, the First Lady, joined by Conan O'Brien, visited a military base in Qatar to show her support for the 11,000 U.S. troops stationed there. And on Wednesday, the First Lady spoke at the World Innovation Summit for Education, or WISE, in Doha, Qatar. While she was there, she took a tour of the WISE Summit Learning Labs. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, the president hopped on a phone call with HHS Secretary Sylvia Burwell hey to discuss how Americans can enroll in health insurance. The open enrollment period ends on January 31st, so be sure to get covered today at healthcare.gov. In the wee hours of Thursday morning, the text of the Trans-Pacific Partnership Trade Agreement was released. You can read the whole agreement online and learn how the agreement will be good for the economy, good for job creation, and most importantly, good for middle-class workers. On Thursday afternoon, the president was talking health care with radio reporters from across the country, from cities that are all a part of the new Healthy Communities Challenge. The community that gets the most uh, new eligible folks signed up, I'm going to come visit and congratulate them, and uh, we'll have a little uh, health care rally. And later, the president, otherwise known as President, president Barack Black Eagle, Eagle, spoke at the Tribal Nations Conference. While he was there, he took part in a discussion with Native youth about the challenges facing Native American communities. So stay engaged with us online, and remember, you can find out more information about any of these topics and see complete videos at whitehouse.gov. Thanks so much for checking out this edition of your West Wing Week.